Now this knowledge can be understood by a person who has made relationship with Krishna and is a surrendered soul. Without being surrendered, uh, it is very difficult to understand the controller and the energy, how he is controlling everything. Tibhvaṁ prapannaya ase sata samagrena upadekṣāme. This is the condition we will find in the latter chapter. The Krishna says, nāhaṁ prakāsa sarvasva. Just like if you enter into any educational and institution, if you don't surrender yourself to the rules and regulations of the institution, how you can get advantage of the knowledge imparted by the institution? Everywhere, wherever you want to receive something, you have to be controlled or you have to be surrendered to the rules and regulations. Just like in our class, we are imparting some lessons from the Bhagavad Gita and if you do not follow the rules and regulations of this class, it is not possible to receive the knowledge. Similarly, the full knowledge of the controller and the process of controlling can be understood when one is surrendered like Arjuna to Krishna. Unless one is surrendered soul, it is not possible. You always remember that Krishna, uh, Arjuna, surrendered himself to Krishna. Sishtasti ham sadhimaṁ prapanna. So therefore Krishna is also speaking to him. Actually, this discussion of scripture is not to be uh, acted unless there is relationship between the speaker and the audience. So audience means the disciples. Disciple means who accept the discipline. Shisha, Shisha, the exact Sanskrit word is Shisha. The Shisha means there is a bhar, Sanskrit bhar, which is called sas. Sas means control. From sas, the sastra comes. Sastra means controlling books. And from sas, sastra. Sastra means weapons. When the argument fails, reason fails, just like the state controls, first of all they give you the laws. If you break the laws, if you don't follow the regulation books, means sastra, then next step is sastra, shastra, shastra means weapon. If you don't follow the regulation of the government, keep to the right, then there is police batons, sastra. So you have to be controlled. If you are gentleman, then you be controlled under the instruction of the sastra. And if you are defying, then there is trident of Durga Devi. You have seen Durga Devi picture, trident, threefold misery. You cannot, I am to say, violate any rules and regulations as of the state, similarly of the supreme state, Krishna. It is not possible. Just take for example, there are some health rules 
If you eat more, then you will be controlled by some disease. Oh. You will have indigestion. And the doctor will advise you not to eat three days. So there is control. By nature, nature means God's law, automatically working. Oh. Foolish people do not see God's law. But there is God's law. The sun is rising just exactly in the time. The moon is rising exactly in the time. The first year, first January has come exactly in time. So there is control. But foolish people, they do not see it. Everything is control. So, to know God and how things are working, and how it is being controlled, these things are to be known. We should not go simply by sentiment. <coughs> Religious sentiment is good for persons who follow blindly. But at the present moment, people are advanced in so-called education. So, Bhagavad Gita gives you full information so that you can accept God with your reason, with your argument, with your knowledge. It is not blind following. Uh, Krishna consciousness is not a, a sentiment. It is backed by knowledge and practical knowledge. Vigyana. Jnana, Vigyana Sahita. So, without Vigyana Sahita, uh, <coughs> and the process is to understand this knowledge is to be a surrendered soul. Therefore, uh, we disciple. Disciple means one who accepts the discipline. Without accepting discipline, we cannot make any progress. It is not possible. Any field of knowledge, any field of activities, if you want to be uh, aware scientifically and actually, then you should accept the controlling principle. Samadrena vak jat sarupam sarvakaram jat dhiyam tat ubha visakam jnana matram vaktum. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama.